Hi everyone, Howard Gearhauser here alongside my dad, Dr. Richard Gearhauser. In today's video, we wanted to talk about the shelter in place mandate and how that could be affecting the various outbreaks of the coronavirus and how that might be affecting your health. Now, as many of you have listened to uh, us talk about many times, one of our big principles is connecting with nature in order to maintain optimal health. So when we get a shelter in place order and people are getting arrested and fined for going to beaches and parks, it can be a little scary and daunting to maybe want to go outside like you used to. So you feel compelled to stay inside, watching Netflix, going on social media, watching the news, et cetera. But is that the healthy thing to do? Like, let's be realistic about this. Is staying inside better than getting outside? So we wanted to talk about that. And then there was a new study that came out that showed uh, the outbreaks that happen indoors versus outdoors. So I want my dad to touch on that too. So can you take it away from here? Uh, yes. So the shelter in place, you know, means you, you guys, theoretically, you got to stay in your home. If you live in an apartment and don't have a yard, that basically means that you got to stay indoors. And we talk about how really our innate immunity depends on the sun. Even our daily energy, uh, we get energy directly from the sun. That's one of the things we teach people is we are kind of like an orange tree. If you take an orange tree and you put a tarp over it, it will, after about two weeks, will turn yellow. And after about two months, it will be dead. Okay, human is the same thing. You put a tarp over it, you start to you know, get unhealthy. That's the yellow orange tree. And that's most of us in America. I mean, think about it. Disease epidemic in America, you know, not, not necessarily COVID-19, but just all the diseases, diabetes, obesity, arthritis, autoimmune disease, cancer, heart attacks, you know, all these things are higher than almost any other country in America because, you know, we as a population tend to stay indoors. So staying indoors is not good for your health. So these shelter in place uh, rules where they even arrest me. I heard stories. I, I didn't. I don't watch all this stuff that's on TV. So I, you know, I'm walking by and I hear, you know, a lone surfer uh, has a helicopter chasing him down. You know, he's by himself out there in the surf, and they want to fine him for not following the shelter in place rules. You know, so I could see you know, a huge crowd of teenagers on the beach where they're, you know, embracing each other. Yeah, maybe you want to disperse that crowd. But if someone is keeping the distance, which is the whole idea behind the social distancing, if they're keeping their distance, it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous to chase people down in a park or even on the street. So we want to encourage you to go outside. If you live in an apartment, you know, I would say break the rules. Um, but don't send me the bill for your fine because I will not pay it. Uh, so we know the daylight is good. It sets our circadian rhythm, which is how our immune system keeps its function going where it has peaks and valleys it needs to have that if our immune system is constantly elevated that's not good and if it's constantly low that's not good either so the circadian rhythm the day the night we have to have night you can't be on netflix unless you wear blue blocking glasses and cover your skin if you're watching after the sun goes down because that will disrupt your circadian rhythm. So circadian rhythm is really important. The other thing is the sun gives us the energy. Just like the orange tree, we get energy directly from the sun. It's a complicated story of how the frequencies of light, both the visible light and the invisible light, like the ultraviolet light, actually give us energy directly. Unfortunately, Doctors don't know that. The COVID-19 experts don't know that. So they're never going to tell you any of this. This is in science, but it's just they haven't connected the dots between health 
and this important natural process of how we gain energy. So I would encourage you to go outside, see the sunrise, get out in the midday, that gives you that ultraviolet light, which does a lot of things, but one of the things it does is it elevates vitamin D. Vitamin D is really important for our innate immune system, which is the immune system that attacks novel creatures uh, trying to disrupt us. So like the COVID-19, uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus is novel in that it's a mutation, so we've been exposed to lots of coronaviruses in the past because that's the virus that causes the common cold typically. So coronavirus is nothing new, but these viruses mutate. So everyone's going, the vaccine, Bill Gates, the vaccine, the uh, Fauci, the vaccine, everybody's going, that, that's gonna be our savior. But have you ever noticed they don't have a vaccine for the common cold? And you know why that is? This is a common cold is constantly changing. It's constantly mutating. Uh, there was a, a report I read from Iceland that they looked at this, the SARS-CoV-2, the COVID-19 virus, and they found 40 different mutations already in Iceland, 40 different ones. So this, is a rapidly mutating virus. And that's why we don't have uh, vaccines for the common cold, because obviously if they could do that, they would have those on the market because that would be a billion dollar industry for the drug companies, but it's just difficult to do. But the payoff's gonna be so huge, you know, everybody and their brother is looking for a vaccine to treat this disease because it'll probably mean a trillion dollars in profits because they'll probably mandate it for the entire planet. Can you imagine how much money you would make? So the holy grail is out there for the drug companies, but good luck because it hasn't happened in the past and I don't think it's gonna happen now. Yeah, and like we have mentioned many times before, we think connecting with nature is probably your best defense against the coronavirus and all of its possible mutations. The vaccine, as my dad just mentioned, might address one mutation, but if this thing's constantly evolving and evolving quickly, we won't be able to keep up. So you have to take control of your own immunity, your own immune system, make sure you're getting out in nature because that's going to be the thing that allows all of your regulatory process, processes to work properly. So go check out our video, 10 Cutting Edge Health Protocols That Your Doctor Will Never Tell You. That video kind of breaks down the most important things you need to do to make your environment more natural so you can reap the benefits without having to rely on mainstream medicine or our healthcare system to keep you healthy. Anything you want to add to that? Well, I just wanted to reiterate, so this new study showing that almost all the outbreaks, they could only find one outbreak that occurred outdoors. So almost all the outbreaks are indoors. And then the officials say shelter in place go indoors where all the outbreaks happen you know is that totally bs if you ever heard bs in your life that seems like it. we know outdoor air typically is way less polluted than indoor air including by viruses but you know, if you live in the big city right now the big cities have less air pollution but if you live during usual times, the outdoor air, you know, might not be quite as good. But in general, the outdoor air is going to be better to breathe as far as toxins and as far as viruses than the indoor air. So it'd be better to spend most of your time outdoors, if possible, just based on the air, air based on the sun, and based on studies that show that, hey, this virus, the viral outbreaks occur on an indoor basis. So hopefully this information has been helpful for you guys. Let us know what other content you'd like us to make. We're obviously trying to keep you in the loop with the coronavirus, but also getting you deeply connected with nature. That way all of your systems function properly. So leave us a note in the comments below and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks, Dad.